What can I say about uh, the competitive makeup of our football team? Uh, you know, kind of the storyline of two halves. I thought defensively, we kept making them kick field goals in the red area in the first half. I think that really set the tone. Our defense kept us in the game in the first half. We probably played about as poorly as we could play in the first half. Um, I thought we were playing extremely tentative. We were too concerned about their movements. I thought we were overthinking. And uh, again, defense did a great job of limiting them to field goals. And then the second half, we give up a long scoring drive, but uh, we scored 24 unanswered points. Uh, we were able to establish and run the football, which was great to see. Uh, we took care of the football. And then uh, I thought Jeff Foreman, uh, his catch really kind of was kind of the, the explanation mark or whatever you want to say to really close the game. And we needed that play, but we were able to run the football when we were able to. We took care of the football. We talked about coming in here was a desire to for success, a desire to win, and overall discipline. We only had three penalties the entire game, which our players responded. So again, a great team win, uh, complimentary football, and uh, second road win, which as we know, it's hard to win in college football, let alone on the road. This is an extremely challenging place to play, uh, so I can't say enough about our players. And I thought our staff did a good job. I thought we made some good uh, adjustments at halftime. Offensively, we pushed the ball down the field, and I thought Jalen did a really good job in the second half of really, really managing the game. Uh, we need to work on two minute at the end of the half and moving forward because we've got three points in our back pocket. And then obviously the kick by Dominic uh, at the end of the game kind of uh, that was big. Um, that wasn't a hard, That wasn't an easy kick as well. So, what is it about uh, ULM that brings out the best of Corey Rucker? Well, he definitely loves uh, playing against ULM. <laughs> I think it goes back to recruiting. Uh, but again, I just can't say enough about him and his competitive grit, everything he's overcome, and he definitely sparked us tonight. Jalen kind of started off slow, and that third drive took you down, got points on the board. You know, what was kind of I know you all probably had a little talk with him. What were the things that was being said to kind of maybe calm him down? Well, I think first of all, you have to give ULM credit. Uh, you know, they're fourth in the country in takeaways. Uh, they don't give up very many explosive plays. And I thought this would be his biggest challenge to date as a young starting quarterback with his ability to manage the game. Uh, they give you so many different looks. They challenge you in every aspect with good football players. So I think, you know, as we continue to progress, you know, we have to work uh, two minute drill before the half, some things like that. But, you know, in his fashion, he calmed down very, very poised, but I think sometimes it's just quick decisions, quick decisions in the run game, and the only way you improve that is through repetitions. Wallace had the hot hand tonight, especially in the second half. Was it just a matter of ULM's defense kind of wearing down and that opened up more holes? Or what was it? Well, I think, it? first of all, we settled down up front. Uh, the first half, I thought we were trying to be too perfect. You know, with all the different movements and the different fronts and the different pressures that they give you, I thought our players are playing extremely tentative. And, uh, you know, we kind of settled it down in the second half. I thought our coaches did a good job of adjusting. And we were able to come off the football and run off the football. And then, obviously, Zach at 235 pounds brings another element to you. The special teams touchdowns, both of them were penalized, obviously. So are you, are you able to easily overlook those, or does that give you concern? No, I'll go back and I'll look. We weren't able to protect the backside. It's because they have 12 people on the field. Uh, but you never overlook that. That's something we take great pride in. We gave up uh, two touchdowns, really, on our punt team. And that's unacceptable regardless of what happened. Um, so I'll be able to know more when I watch the video. Emmanuel left the game. With any, yeah. Anything you tell us on that? Yeah. Uh, he had a, he's, uh, he'll be out for the rest of the year. Uh, we lost him with a broken fibula. And uh, our thoughts and our prayers go to him. And he's come so far uh, from his first rehab with his injury. Um, I can't say enough about him as a person, uh, his character, his competitive character. And he was playing his best football. But uh, you know, now as we continue to move forward, it's another person's opportunity. But anytime that happens, that's very unfortunate. You're four and four after a zero and two start. You kind of like the progr progress this team's making. I do. I like the pro the 
progression that not only this team is making that but this program is making and you know it's like we just spoke about on the radio is you know I have to remind myself we really didn't have a first year first year was trying to field a football team and nothing good other than that came of it um, we're really in year two of our program of building our culture our mindset hopefully you guys can see the progress in terms of connection, in terms of discipline, only three penalties tonight, um, and just a physical style of play, and then some guys stepping up. We're doing it with all first and second year players, and I'm really proud of our older players for bringing the veteran leadership that we do. But if you look at our kickoff team, our kickoff team starts five true freshmen, uh, three redshirt freshmen, and uh, I believe two juniors and one senior. So. Uh, that's a pretty young team, and that's kind of throughout the throughout our boards on special teams. So again, I think we're making tremendous progress. But as you know, we live in a week-to-week -week season, and uh, we got a great challenge coming into Centennial Bank Stadium with Louisiana coming in next week. But we're going to enjoy this one because we have come a long way, and I have to keep reminding myself in a very short period of time. You but, mentioned progress, and one one area that. Not every game this year, and I know you're not happy and, and want to see more, but you know tonight, for instance, fourth quarter progress, being able to finish it yes. in the fourth quarter. Well, having 24 unanswered points uh, prior to the last touchdown drive was big for us. And then obviously finishing in the fourth quarter and being able to establish to run and all that that we talk about, we were able to make that come to life tonight. The three field goals that Savada made, just big. How, how encouraging was it big. to see him get And back? the kick at the end of the game really kind of, as you all know, changed the math change the dynamics and that was a difficult kick so to see him bounce back like that that's one of the reasons why we won the football game uh, Tyron Howell their big, big play guy obviously leads the conference in touchdowns uh, or tie for the lead uh, you got to tell him to 37 yeah. yards just I speaking. thought that was big yep. um, you know he's one of those individuals that can ruin the game in a hurry and I thought we did a good job of mixing up some coverage schemes and I thought we played really well in the back end